On Friday, Nebraska baseball retired three jerseys. These are the first jerseys to ever be retired from the program. Um, just to be a part of this is, is pretty amazing to share it with um, legends like Darren Erstad and Shane Kumini. I couldn't ask for anything more. It's, it's exciting. You know, I, these, these guys uh, have really set the tone, you know, for Nebraska baseball and athletics. And to be standing alongside them today, uh, to have our, our jerseys retired, it's, it means so much. Because I think for us as, as athletes, our job every day was to come out and compete and, and try to win championships. And, you know, you don't really look at the future. You're only focused on the present. And um, to, you know, to be able to come back here with the family and, and be a, alongside a lot of our former teammates and the current players, um, it's special. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a huge honor. Um, for me, it's, it's it's really special because Nebraska baseball has had a lot of great players over the year. I mean, there's a lot of big leaguers and I mean, a lot of really good teams and it never got to, I mean, they didn't even come close to the College World Series. And for them to do that and change the expectations of the program and, and you know, not just do it once, but they did it three stinking times. It, and now coaching, when I coach here, for eight years to see how hard that is i have so much respect for him from that side of it especially shane i mean he was right there i mean he's the one that did it and on the mound and uh it's uh yeah to be with them is pretty special it's definitely the the first year we went to the college world series um the bus ride from lincoln to omaha uh, and the streets lined with with fans all the way from from here to, to omaha was special and then getting out there and just looking at the other teams when all the the you know everybody was coming in and getting autographs in nebraska having the longest line of fans to to get autographs while everybody else was done and walking out we were still there but that's what it's all about is just you know give, being able to give back and, and thanking the fans for all the support you know it's just so many good memories but going to the world series when we clinched um, even though i got thrown out that game that was uh, the celebration afterwards with the fans and and everything was probably my you could probably ask every guy on that team that was probably the best memory coming here uh, just grew me as a ball player as a as a man on and off the field and you know looking back on it now i don't think i would have had the career i had if it wasn't for this place it gave me every opportunity as far as teammates coaches uh, facilities school everything so um, that's kind of why I wanted to give back once, you know, I got to the major leagues and I got my first big deal. Uh, first thing I wanted to do was give back to the reason I got to where I was. So, um, you know, I, I owe everything to Nebraska and I'm happy to have my jersey retired and hopefully, like I said, be a good repre representation of this university. I preached this when I was coaching here that that is why you recruit high character guys, that you're going to have these experiences 10, 20, 30 years from now thank you for bringing that up but the that's the thing that is so special about our groups like i talk to alex a lot like not like like every day but we stay in touch shane i've got to meet him a few times he'd come back you know when i was coaching which is great we have a group text of our team that played we talk they text you know different stuff randomly once a week twice a week you know and it, there's an event take pictures that stuff that's what makes nebraska special you know, couldn't believe that they haven't done it before. So to be the first group to be able to go in, um, and like I said, to share it with uh, Shane and Darren, um, it's a, it's an honor. So, um, you know, I'm just going to try to soak it in with my family and with those guys and enjoy the moment and hopefully be a good representation of uh, uh, the first jerseys retired. So That's super weird, yeah. It's uh, super cool, but at the same time, I mean, I, you know, it's been a while that you don't get asked these questions anymore because you're old and nobody cares about you, which is perfect. But the, like when you bring it back up and you think about it, you remember it's like, holy cow, it's kind of cool. And it just doesn't feel real. Like I was down at Angels Camp two weeks ago and just on the field and, and I'm like, I did this for 14 years. And you're like, it's like, I was never good enough to do that. And, and you did it, right? And then I'm here and I'm out there coaching. I go talk to Dan and the Illinois Doug. I was like, geez, I've been coaching against that guy for eight years. And you see Will, he's the head coach. Like, oh, yeah, I did that. It's like it, those things that you get to experience in life that are, uh, they don't seem real. They seem like dreams. Well, that's why they're cool. Cause it's, you know, it's hard to comprehend that you get, get to do that. So I just, I'm just going to take it all in and, and have fun. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty special to be back.
you know, I'm not used to, to, to coming back and seeing the jersey, but, you know, it's, it's, I think for all of us, we all feel that, you know, the hard work and, and the way we competed every day, um, you know, it's, it's a very humbling uh, and grateful experience for all of us.